So. Uh, hi, I'm Christy Cable. I'm the uh, Graham County Special Olympic Coordinator. I've been coordinating Special Olympics for uh, our local games and state games here in uh, Graham County for now about six years. Uh, we're here tonight with an, a third annual Neon Night Run, which is a fundraiser for Special Olympics. Uh, all proceeds go to our local athletes. Uh, Neon Night is one of the, uh, our second largest fundraisers for our county, the other being the uh, Polar Plunge, which is held in February. Uh, what we have going around here is we have a DJ and lots of food, lots of community sponsors. This is one of the largest events other than the Fall Festival where our community, come out, come, uh, our community comes together and supports our uh, school, our athletes. And uh, we dance and uh, run where all the uh, around the track is lit up with neon lights. So it has uh, been a great success and we're here tonight for uh, the excitement and uh, hopefully another successful year. Hi, I'm Superintendent Angie Knight. I'm proud to be a part of our Graham County Schools Neon Knight 5K. This is our third annual event to raise money for Special Olympics. Personally, I've been involved with Special Olympics for about 29 years as a special ed major in college and then as a special education teacher as my, uh, my former position. Uh, that's my heart is with children with special needs as, as now it's with all children, but uh, we want to celebrate the diversity we have and, and then to celebrate how much we're so much more alike than different. So I think our Project Unify really encapsulates what we do as a school system as far as uh, everyone gets along and this, this helps us all to remember that we're all special and we all have special gifts. Um, my name is Myra Lynn and I am the elementary art teacher grades kindergarten through sixth grade and I am helping with Special Olympics. I've been involved with uh, the Olympics here in Graham County for the last four years. Um, it's something that's very dear to my heart. Um, my son Brody is in the Special Education Program. And it's something that he and I both love and we love the teachers that are all involved in it and trying to make his life more special than it is already. One project that I am over is uh, in the elementary is called Project Unify and it involves uh, students in fifth and sixth grade. It's a statewide program that will follow these students all the way through college. Once they're involved in it, they'll always be involved. Uh, one thing that the Project Unify does uh, for our students in the special education program for like my son Brody, uh, he has issues with his hip and he can't run. So one of these kids will be his runner. And it just touches my heart because they love him as much as I do and, and want to help. And that's part of Special Olympics too, is, is just helping these kids feel as normal and as wonderful and as special as they can. Hello, my name is Jerry Anna Roper. I'm in ninth grade and today I'm going to talk about how Project Unify is such a great impact on our school. So I think that Project Unify really changes people's lives and it's just a great thing for the kids that are unable to do the things. It just really helps them to go to Special Olympics and stuff. I just think it's made a great impact on many lives and it's just a great thing. It has impacted my life on making me be thankful for the things that I'm able to do and make me realize the things that some people aren't able to do. I also enjoy helping others and seeing the big smile on their face whenever they're able to do stuff that they don't usually do in their everyday life. So that's how it's impacted me. That's all. Thank you. you're never going to make money if you spend money. So let me find people who want to come out and donate their time and their energy because adults like to have fun too. So once it gets really dark, you won't even see the trees. It just kind of all glows and it goes all the way around. Good luck.